Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy here from CyberPower PC, and today we're going to be talking about NVIDIA's new technology called RTX. RTX, which offers ray tracing technology, includes dedicated hardware that will render light in real time. Lighting has always been present in 3D gaming, but the way it changes and interacts with its environment is what makes it dynamic. This includes reflective surfaces, ambient occlusion, and global illumination. The major difference between lighting in older games versus new games like Battlefield 5 is this process called rasterization. This was a way of adding visible light to a scene by creating geometry to mimic what light, such as God Rays, would look like. This, however, was not without its limitations. Games had to choose where to keep their light scene by scene without a practical way of changing it. Now with this new technology, we can have different sources of light that can affect the global illumination and dynamically change shadows. But with that, it also changes reflections to give it more of a lifelike feel. If you want to look at further examples, I highly encourage you to go over to NVIDIA's website and download some of their RTX demos. Today we are going to look at one of the demos offered by NVIDIA, Quake 2. We're going to have multiple explanations of what we're talking about. So like we covered in the beginning of the video, we have three things that we're talking about. One is shadows two is global illumination, and three is reflections. So now that we're in game, we're actually able to show you some few examples. This demo is readily available for you guys to download on NVIDIA, so you guys can check it out yourselves. Right here, global illumination is of course, right here through the sun. That is the main source of light that you'll see throughout the map. Um, but of course they have these other things like these little light poles here, you can see right here. But then here's another perfect example of God rays here that's dynamically changing as I move and position myself. But you can see it streaming through this cracked opening here. You can see it right there. So we have reflections here. You can see my character moving around. And then also when I shoot my gun here, you'll be able to see it streak across here, streak across and I am, I am pressing, pressing the mouse. See, this isn't some sort of video. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn off RTX. So let's go ahead and start in the beginning again. Go to options. Uh, I think it's in graphic settings, RTX, exit out. There's no reflection, there's no God rays. Uh, there's no, you can't change the lighting source cause it's pre-rendered. So where the sun position is and how it is, it's gonna stay exactly the same. Um, but you can see that this light source, uh, I don't cast a single shadow here. So here's another example of reflection. You can see the reflection of that building here is reflecting in the water. And when I shoot across it, you can see the gunshots are going across it. But the best example that I saw was this right here, was when you go underneath the water. So you can kind of see that it is casting shadows as it's moving around the fans. But when you go underwater, there are the God rays and it's constantly changing. You can tell that it's constantly changing because the fan is spinning. You see the shadows are moving. When I come underneath it, you can see my shadow right there. So this is a perfect example of global illumination. Global illumination meaning that multiple light sources. So you can see the light source coming off my gun. And then when I shoot, it lights up certain areas. So you can see if I shot like around this corner here, you can see the shadows being produced. Being produced in this area here right there. So you do have some lighting changes with the shadows underneath, but when I shoot it at a certain angle, it doesn't change the lighting in this fixed area. So you can see here with RTX off the shadows here. So you can see that there is a shadow being cast here, but that's fixed. I can't change the lighting. And then when I shoot actually at this corner here, it just lights up even over here in this dark corner area. It just lights it up. There's no dynamic change in lighting. You can see the reflection off the walls and even on this uh, metal part here, this metal portion here. You see the reflection of the light, but then also if you change the time of day, like right now, it's nighttime, you can see that the reflection of the boxes is actually being created and cast around the corner. You can see that if I, so right here in this corner above this box here, you can see that when I shoot, the box appears, but if I shoot in a different area, you can see that the shadow is actually changing in the corner there. So depending on where I'm creating this light source, the shadows will change all in real time. The shadows aren't changing at all here. There are no shadows actually, like I said. Oh, look at this, there's a reflection here, right here. I look like a thumb. This is a better reflection, I think me crouching. And remember, there are more modern examples of ray tracing like Tomb Raider or Control that you can find on NVIDIA's website. This is a great way of seeing where the future of gaming is heading. There are a lot of cards that have ray tracing available, anything ranging from an RTX 2060 going all the way up to an RTX 2080 Ti. 
The thing to look for, of course, is for RTX. And that basically means that ray tracing is available on this card. If you liked what you saw in this video, you can check out all of our available RTX systems at cyberpowerpc.com. Once again, this is Jeremy signing off. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.